just wanted to do a really quick kind of initial review on the Mountain Warehouse two-man backpacker tent. I took this out here in my backyard just last night and we had rain from about 945 through about midnight and actually a really strong thunderstorm at midnight and I slept out in this last night and was really impressed with it. So I'm going to roll just a little bit of footage from last night so you can kind of see the inside of it and uh, kind of hear the rain hitting it and then I'll touch base back with you one more time in a moment. I love the sound of it hitting the tent. just a few minutes after midnight and the rain has lit up a little but the winds are really whipping around out here the tent's doing great occasionally it'll kind of kick around and you know winds making it blow there we go but it's holding pretty tight it's coming now it's been raining all night so the tent itself comes with a whole bunch of these kind of really light, fairly cheap tent pegs. And to be honest, I'm probably going to replace those uh, with some sturdier ones because I did bend one last night trying to push it into the ground. I was able to stake down the outer fly using only eight stakes. It's got a couple of vents on either side on the back. There are doors on both sides. right and everything on the inside is really bright and reflective which makes for a great kind of living space inside the inner tent and I really love the outside coloring of the fly so really dark kind of stealthy um, I'm gonna take the fly off and just kind of show you what the inner tent looks like without the fly so here's your inner tent it has um, a main door that opens all the way, but you also have an inner kind of uh, a netting that you can unzip if you want to create a little more draft. I want to show you quickly what I had in here before I take it all out. I had my bivy bag with my 40 degree sleeping bag, pillow, air, air mattress under there. I had space for um, over here on this side to put some things. There's some nice space here on the other side. You can see I've got some items, some gloves, a little Nalgene bottle. And you can kind of see that's peeled back uh, for draft. Oops, I forgot to take a granola bar out. But that reminds me, there are two inner little pockets, little sleeves right there on both sides. There's another set of pockets over there. Got a nice big open end here. I am about 5, 11 and a half feet tall um, and I think you could be you know maybe six feet and still be fine in this tent but to be honest if you're much over six feet I think your head would probably be hitting that back part. It has two sets of poles one here and a bigger one there to help keep the inner tent elevated and the pole just has a little pin that you insert from the inner tent inside. Same on both sides. The inner tent is only staked down in four places. Two here at the back and then two there at the feet. And I used a ground sheet. I don't know that you would absolutely have to. Um, it kind of has the bathtub bottom to the inner tent so it does round up. All right, so here it is, all packaged up. Uh, you know, the, the poles, everything fit in here nicely. This is about, I don't know, about two feet, maybe just a tiny bit longer than two feet um, long. Um, maybe just shy of a foot kind of across. And I don't know how much it weighs. I'm sure you can find that kind of information on a website or something like that. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed this initial review. Maybe after some time, maybe a year or so of using it, I'll give maybe kind of a follow-up to it. So I hope it's been helpful. 
Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.